road to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank. You are listening Caring Partner. Welcome to Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My guest today is Vivian Mwangi. Um, she is the director, one of the directors of Flame Flavors. Welcome to the show, Vivian. Thank you. Thank you so much. Flame Flavors. Flame yeah, it's flavors. actually quite a tongue twister. The real name is Flame Flavors Grilled Chicken. Oh. Uh -huh. so, so, so it all started from chicken, essentially. So it's all about grilling chicken. So the flavor is from the grilled chicken. Actually, that's our main item. The issue was uh, giving people the right thing. And, and this, this flavored uh, chicken, apparently, uh, if you go back to our preparation, it, it's chicken that's not just chicken. We, we have to marinate it for 24 hours in uh, herbs, um, well done, things that are locally found. So from there now, we, we put it on the flame. And apparently, actually, we usually use gas. We flame it with, with, um, with some grill uh, from gas, and uh, from there, it's, it's just sumptuous. You, you just can't avoid it. And the essence is I'm, I'm providing something to someone who is hungry, something delicious to them, so that I fill their stomach and I make them happy, yeah? And uh, probably I give employment, so, so it's a fulfilled kind of a business, and um, we, we hope that we are going places. Whose idea was it, and when did it start? It's a group of guys. We have Witness, we have Lewis. They're quite a group of them. Mm -hmm. And why them? It's because they had been in a fast food, uh, this kind of business. So they had worked in fast food for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I think they felt some gap. The kind of gap they felt was because I think where they were working was the right staff, but it was not reaching to the common Kenyan. It was kinder for, the, for those, the app market. The app market. But okay. apparently this is something, I think they just felt that this is something that surely we can give to the common Kenyan. Yeah? Let them also taste what other have taste and give them at the right cost mm -hmm. what they can afford. And um, in 2009, now, I mean, it just started off. So where was the first uh, branch? Because I, I know now that it has many yeah, branches. And the first one was in Mombasa Road. Um, Mombasa Road was the I mean, the one who bore everyone else. And then from there, we moved on to Embakasi. Now, with Embakasi, now Don Home was given birth, and others came up, Shabin, Upper Hill. They're quite a number. Uh, we now have parklands. And essentially, as time has gone on, the issue of capital becomes an issue. So something franchising has now come into place, uh, mm -hmm. apparently, because I think when we started off, ideally, we didn't think it would get this fast. I know, I mean, just 2009, that's two years ago. You may see it like it's just the other day, but for us, because I think that the journey has been so tough, it's been like going uphill. 2009 looked like it was so far <laughs> back, <laughs> but, but we thank God, we thank God, because um, we, we see the results. And I think in business, if you don't see the results, it doesn't really make sense, it doesn't really make sense. And uh, for me, uh, apparently, I, I happen to love God, and I, sometimes I put God values into business, and they really kind of make sense. So even in business, if you're not growing, if you're not getting the results, then I think you need to, 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 to think back, because something probably is wrong somewhere. So in the, be in the beginning, um, a group of... About four or five men uh, had the vision, came up and started it off. Apparently, I was not there initially when, they, when it all started, but I, but I was sort of, you know, uh, in the picture, but uh, behind the curtains. Apparently, it has so happened that last year, uh, when I'm so busy at work, the business now, I felt that something, it's like it was going through some drill of some fence, that things were not coming right. When I settled down, and I said, I saw these men start this, I like the idea that they have, I like the vision, I love the energy that they have, so I decided to join in. That's when I put my, my two feet inside. And when I took, put my two feet inside, um, I decided now, I'm settled. All I do is I, I like to put customer service in another level. I think the customer is the queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because apparently you, 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 
you handle the queen, you take care of the queen, and you will get the king. So I feel like the king is out there. The king is the customer who has not yet come. So you deal with this queen that you can see. And when she tells the king about it, yeah. then you will have the king. So I like, the, I keep telling my staff, these are the queens. Yeah? They're buying a sausage, it doesn't matter. They're buying a whole chicken, that's the queen. And if you want the king, you focus on the queen and you will get the king. Tell me about Flame Flavors, you know, one of your outlets. If I walked into an outlet, a Flame Flavors outlet, what would I expect to find? Well, now, if you came into one of our outlets, like Embakasi, where you find me most of the time, um, number one, we, we are 100% Kenyan. So what you find, number one, our main item is chicken. And that's our main item that we're actually marketing. What we've done in the chicken is that we have different forms of chicken. You can have a whole chicken, you can have a quarter, half chicken. Usually, um, uh, no shortcut, it is grilled. It is flame grilled. Mm -hmm. It goes through the flame using gas and we, we, we grill it. How we grill it is that we, we don't just take it and just put it on fire, no. That chicken, once we get it, we first marinate. We have our special marinade. Mm -hmm. we, we've already had compliments, guys love it. Some of it, another person was asking me the other day, and what's in this stuff? And I was like, trust me, it's something cool. So that's your secret. That's my secret, <laughs> but trust me, it's yeah. something cool. So essentially, we, 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 we marinate minimum 24 hours. We have drumsticks. We have winglets, yeah? We have the chicken breast, especially like the chicken breast, people love it. It's what we usually use actually for the burgers. We put a whole chicken breast. So everything that we use actually is Kenyan. Then like our burgers, we will use our lettuce, we will use um, tomatoes, we will make it, you know, Kenyan, but also something that is sumptuous, something that will give you flavor, something that will fill your tummy, you know, something that will feel happy. What is driving us is that we, we do deliveries. That's another thing that we have incorporated in our business. Because apparently, however much, most of our outlets are in the, um, in, in the residential areas. We have a few like Parklands, which is in the app market. But the issue of the deliveries is what is, because all you do is that we, we make sure that people have our numbers. You're in the house, you just call me. Hi, that's Flame Flavors, yeah, I want half chicken. So, and what we do is that we, we, we tend to open our branches next to them, because we don't want an issue where it's taking an hour waiting for food. You know, Vivian, the more you talk about your chicken, I'm thinking maybe we need to have a bit of it. <laughs> we need to take a short break, maybe to taste the chicken. We'll be right back. There are easier ways to look after your money. Introducing Mkesho, the account on your phone. Open yours today at any equity bank branch or selected Mpesa agents countrywide. Mkesho from Mpesa and Equity Bank. Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My guest today is Vivian Mwangi. She is one of the directors at uh, Flame Flavors. Welcome back thank to you, the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Before we went to the break, you were describing the flame flavored chicken. You shared with us about flame flavors. Um, you know, chicken is your main, item. main brand. And then you have pizza. We do have pizzas, we have uh, burgers, you can have beef burger, mm -hmm. we have rice, we have a very special rice. It's not just the every kind of rice, we call it vegetable rice. We fry it, with, with, we, we like making everything healthy. So we'll have uh, green peas, we'll have carrots, in the rice. so we just call it a vegetable rice. It goes very well with chicken. Mm -hmm. We have so many people who love it. What we do is that we just take a breast and we cut it and we, it, it looks, um, mwah, you sh just have to take it. <laughs> So apart from rice, we also sell breakfast meals, just light meals. We do sell uh, omelettes, we do have tea, we do have sausage, samosas, we, we make them actually. And, and apparently what we've learned is most of uh, the culture, the past culture, you've had people having, you know, cooked food in advance. We believe in making food as you see. So we, we take your order as you see. Now the, the challenge would be sometimes it's like it will take me like three minutes to get you a, a samosa probably and someone else will just pick it and give you. But then you go home, you are in a hurry, you realize and they're like this samosa, uh-oh, mm -hmm. it's not very, but for me I'll, I'll, I'll do it as you, you just give me two minutes, just three minutes and get the right stuff. Yeah, the same thing to the pizza, you know, you just, you know, just come. 
and actually what we've done is that we, we encourage cleanliness. Yeah, we, we hygienic uh, standards are perfect. So, and apparently what we've done is that we expose our kitchen. It's not just next to you, but if you expose it in a way that you will see what we're doing. We are so proud of our cleanliness that we want you to see. Tell me about challenges. And I would say capital is all uh, been a challenge. Like I said, uh, franchising is not the best of things. Another challenge I would say is location. Yeah, because um, at a time like this, I mean, getting the very right place, um, it's quite a challenge. Uh, most of our main key directors have um, managed to, to brand in with like Engine. We have uh, Parklands actually, it's, 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 um, it's an agreement with Engine that is in all their petrol stations. Now we'll have flame flavors. So we, 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 getting that is not easy. Then just come in a platter. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of energy. Some people will not trust you. We, we probably not made our name to that, uh, although we believe that in the next two, three years, surely somebody in Kisumu, in Mombasa, should be able to tell what is flame flavors. Vivian, tell me about, you know, running, uh, you know, business in the food industry. Yeah. Um, having come from the corporate world and then now you're in business yeah. completely. What is that experience and what does it take to be in that business? Um, I think, okay, first it starts with passion. Um, and I think most of us, if, if you don't have that passion that drives you, you will never get anywhere. So I would say for me, uh, passion has really, because I've had this passion. I believe that if you have the, the passion towards what you're doing, no matter the challenges, because the challenges will be there. And what happens is that, um, you, your success outdoes the, 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 the challenges. And uh, it, it all uh, comes from your passion in there and what drives you. And you keep focused on your, your vision and where you're aiming at. So whatever the challenges you find, you can move on because you know where you're going. And I think that's what has kept us going. Lessons learned um, in the business. What are those things that you would do again and those things that you probably wouldn't do again? Now, what I will not do again is that I would be very careful with the kind of staff probably that I start with because staffing also means a lot because mm -hmm. another thing is that however much I got the vision myself, remember the people I bring in, uh, you will interview them and bringing them to, 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 to what you want sometimes is quite a challenge. So I think if I would do it all over again, I would be really, really keen on, on the kind of staffing. What I would do again and again and again is just giving the best to customers and treating them the best. You just have to smile to them. You just have to be friends with them. Just make sure even if you don't manage to, to, to penetrate to them, let the food penetrate to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And that's something that I'll do all over and over and over again. Tell me about working with your husband side by side. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of people say that it's, it's hard for couples to... You know, you're living in the same house and then now you wake up and you're going to <laughs> work together. What is your experience? Well, for me, I, uh, I think it was the right time. Um, many people probably may not do it. It starts way back, I think, with your relationship. Life has taught me uh, so much about submission. Uh, I've learned so much about submission. And uh, to, 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 towards my coming to join him, uh, uh, we've lived a life whereby I realized, and you, you know, okay, sometimes I like to tell women, uh, that uh, submission is really the key thing, but nobody wants to submit. When you submit to them, you, you love them and you respect them. And with that, that helped me a lot when I came to business. I, I just want to support him. It's out of love, actually. You cannot do it out, without love. Five years from now, ten years from now, when you see the future of Flame Flavors, what do you see? I believe in going outside borders, because I believe that God will always extend our, you know, he'll always extend our tents. And I believe that God will if I only do things right. So I want to go beyond the border. Border means I'm in Mbakasi, I want to go to the next thing. And now I would go further and say I'm in Kenya, so I want to go beyond. Essentially, I don't want to mention that, but I want to say that I just want to go beyond borders. I want to break borders. I want to go to the next person. And from there, I want to go to the next. And from there, I want to go to the next. So all I want is to, to go beyond where I am. That's, that's all I want. I, five years from now, God knows. It's, it's all here. Sometimes you mention it and people are like, excuse me. But I know him there and me, we, we are in agreement. It will happen. Vivian, thank you so much for coming to share your story with us. I think Flame Flavors is definitely, you know, one of those uh, amazing breakthroughs in the fast food industry in Kenya, doing a wonderful job. And um, I look forward to seeing you across the borders. <laughs> Amen. Thank Five you. Years from thank now. you. Thank yeah. you so much. And I really appreciate it. You've been watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Have a great week. God bless.
road to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.